The Rwandan military department carried out a financial transaction selling dollars worth more than $29 million. The buyer was Roso Boron Export, since it is the only intermediary in the Russian Federation that is allowed to trade military products. This was reported by the publication Verstka, citing closed statistics from Russian customs. The report says that the subject of the deal between the Rwandan Defense Ministry and Roso Boron Export were dollars, namely $100 bills, the total quantity of which is not specified. At the same time, it is noted that the total weight of the currency sold to Russia was over 290 kilograms. The data is taken from the customs declaration. The situation with dollars in Russia is complicated due to the tightening of Western sanctions and the country's authorities are looking for non-trivial solutions to this problem. Previously, a completely different scheme worked, according to which the Russian Federation replenished its currency reserves by importing cash from unfriendly countries through Turkey and the UAE. The scheme of cooperation with the Rwandan Ministry of Defense has surfaced for the first time. It may seem strange that Russia is buying dollars from the military department, although it is quite possible that these funds will be used to finance the war. In the Russian Federation, participants in foreign economic activity are experiencing increasing problems with settlements in hard currencies. Foreign banks fearing secondary sanctions are increasingly refusing to conduct transactions as a result of which the inflow of dollars and euros into Russia continues to decline. On August the 15th, the Central Bank of the Russian Federation cited statistics according to which in the second quarter of this year, only 17.6% of Russian exports were paid for in currencies unfriendly to the Kremlin, while in the same period last year, this figure was 32.3%. And before the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, 84.6%. Meanwhile, not everyone is ready to carry out trade operations with the Russian Federation in rubles or national currency, and this applies even to the so-called friendly countries of Moscow. For example, counterparties from the BRICS countries prefer dollars and euros. As a result of the missile strike on Poltava, one of the buildings of the Institute of Communications was partially destroyed. The rescue operation continues. Vladimir Zelensky reported this. I have received preliminary reports of a Russian strike on Poltava. According to the information available at the moment, two ballistic missiles hit the territory of an educational institution and a nearby hospital. One of the buildings of the Institute of Communications was partially destroyed. People were trapped under the rubble. Many were rescued. More than 180 people were injured. Unfortunately, there are many dead. As of now, 41 people are known to have died. My deepest condolences to all the families and friends. I have ordered a full and prompt investigation of all the circumstances of the incident. All necessary services have been involved in the rescue operation. I am grateful to each and every one who has been helping people from the first minutes after the impact, who is saving lives. The president said. Earlier, People's Deputy Mariana Bazugla hinted that today in Poltava there was an arrival of military personnel for the formation. Poltava. The formation in the 128th Brigade did not teach anything, no one was punished, Zeluzny, Syrsky, Pavliuk, decided everything then. There is a repetition and repetition of tragedies. Where is the limit? The People's Deputy writes. Also, communications expert Sergei Flesh wrote that there is a big problem there. And local resident Sergei Kornienko notes that the missiles hit where there were many of our soldiers. According to him, as a result, many were killed and wounded. Meanwhile, the Russian Federation claims that they launched a missile strike on the Ukrainian Armed Forces Military School in Poltava, which trains radar and electronic warfare specialists for the Ukrainian army. Russian publics are publishing what they claim are the aftermath of the landings in Poltava. <laughs> Вот, 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 вот,